Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here this start of a new campaign in Old World Blues at ADC series in which we're playing as that thing on both things on your arms, Elbow. Um, but we're Elbow, we're led by Father Scrap Heap. Uh, he's a third arch priest of the parish of Elbow, holy overseer of the church of the church of Saskatchewan, and Grand Lysier of the Damon Gabriel. Father Scrap Heap had long hated the blood sport they called elections, so when Pierre shocked the electorate by usurping Dunder, Father Scrappy shocked the parish and murdered the servant of Lucifer known as Father Gabriel during a sermon. Following this execution, Scrappy declared elbows an immediate resignation from the electorate. If you have to ask how much it costs, you can't afford it. Blessed are you, O Elbow, who is like you, a people saved by the Lord, who is a shield of your help and the sword of your majesty. And your so your enemies will cringe before you, and you will tread upon their high places. But we have idealists, clean water, current objective to survive. Uh, we're going to try to take out the state of Moose Jaw. We might be successful, we might not. And if we're not, well then, it looks like we're going to have to redo this. But we'll see. But up to three divisions, but we have four. So that's why I wanted to go in early to start taking out their territory. But, like I said, we are in Saskatchewan. And we'll see what happens. Oh, they do have a division over there. God dang it. Um, can you go here? Can you go here to here? I want to see what, what, how they're going to react. If I could just take Moose Jaw, that'd be fantastic. Because there is a river over here, so something to keep an eye out for. Looks like this is all oh infantry division, that's not good. Um, you know, I'm gonna put you guys over here just in case. If they take a little bit of our own territory, that's fine. I don't really care. I just want you guys uh you know what? Ooh, the AI is moving, it looks like a little bit. Let's see if you can do that maybe. Ooh, they are moving in a little bit. Then go there, maybe. So that's a little bit of a drawn-out process here. We should be okay overall in the end. I'm not sure how these guys are going to be moving, but we're improving urban centers. So we get a research slot. It's really nice. Okay, we got two more divisions. Thank God. Oh, big, big floor. Where are you guys headed to? Uh, I want you guys to go there. Should do that. We're winning over here, but they'll probably deploy another division soon too. Go here. Completely encircle them. In the meantime, we can take a moose job, but we're actually going to take every single other tile that they possibly have so that they can't deploy anything anywhere, which they shouldn't already be able to, but you never know the AI here. You just really never know. Uh, oh, would you look at that? They can move over there, which sucks, but whatever. Actually, the more they move around, just keep them in place. And uh, we could grind up more, but we don't really have so much manpower. So this is a tough nation going to be to play as. Truth be told, but our infantry are only 16 combos, which is not terrible. But everyone else is okay. It's a very inefficient way to grind out army XP, but whatever. Um, mandatory service is nice. We're also using Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio. Old World Blues, uh, Tech Expanded, let's see, uh, Rework Generic Focus Trees, that's we get all this stuff over here, and um, Fast Justification, like normal, for all these nations in Old World Blues that don't really have any place too much yet in the nation of Fallout, at the current moment at least. So we'll take these guys out, then we might go to war with the Snowmads. Artyom. Up raiders, whatnot. Okay, interesting. So that's all good and done. We're gonna get more output though. Oh god. And we've almost got them. Actually, we can actually see what they're like. So they were just a normal generic infantry division. Up next, because we have the father here, we're gonna go to local politics. And we've got Moose Job. Nice. And we're gonna get, we are led by the people. So we're going to continue going down the people route, and we're going to go with support the people. We'll go with not a constitutional monarchy, but a unlimited democracy, people's militia, empire the mayor. Uh, actually, the elites have God's bright, expand God's light, help in the Lord's children, and elite takeover. Huh. The royal guard. Well, we don't want a monarchy. People's militia. We are using militia. You get a lot more population that way too. 
Uh, but it doesn't give buff him that much. 5% attack, speed, and defense. And that's it for Militia. Well, you know what? We might not go with the people then. Let's see. People. Father. I kind of want to go with Scrappy, though. Because he beat the crap and killed somebody here, too. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll stay with the people. But we'll see where we end up. So quickly after we took out the Moose Jaw group. Um, I really like Dundurn, they, don't they have like claims? Uh, maybe they don't have claims. But we're going to go to war with them anyways, because they're currently war with so many other people, so we might as well join the fray. And if we can take the capital, that'd be great. If we can at least take one tile here, that also would be quite great. Um, oh, Archdiocese of Santa Fe. Did I play as them? I might not have. So uh, we're still stuck here. We're, we're definitely going to go down to the people route, so no matter what happens. So we don't like democracy, we don't like elections, but we're going to go down the people route anyways, because I don't want to lose this guy. You know, Norton Longstreet, Matthew Sullivan, Horace Howard. I mean, we'd have to go with probably Matthew Sullivan, but I like this whole religious aspect of this thing. So, we don't like unlimited democracy. The Constitutional Republic, Constitutional Monarchy? Well, I should probably go with people's militia. But we're not going to use militia. Oh, God, no. Uh, go right there. You can cut them off, and that would be really good, actually. Aberdeen? Very nice, very nice, very nice. There you go, and there you go. Uh, where's the capital now? Oh, Strasbourg, huh? Oh, look, you cut him off. Hey, look, you cut him off. Also, instead of all of the, having the militia, we did convert these guys to become um, infantry. Just normal standard infantry. I was racing for all the VPs, but it doesn't seem like he's doing very much because Pleasant Dale is just taking forever with everything. Nice. Rationalism is good. Get more political power. Yes, please. It's nice having five research slots, finally. So we don't need one there. Um, and you're going to grab Mysterious Stranger. Mysterious. Strange. Jur. But we're pretty much basically on all technology. Um, nothing super special, but we're actually going to go ahead and raise our description level because we need more. Hey, it's the division. Nice. Very good. But yeah. Um, yeah, overall not bad. We're actually doing better than I thought we would we, with uh, a nation called Elbow. This. Conventional warfare, conventional warfare. The battle plans, yes please. One, two, where are we going? So we destroyed that division. We still need a field marshal. Good, they got him. You know, just help out right there. You can help out right there too. Guys getting pretty tired. Oh, they have Humboldt still, huh? Cool. There you go. Now we're winning here. Now we're winning here. Good, good, good. Overall. First episode, especially for a small, tiny nation like this, I'm not feeling too bad about it. Ooh. Let's see. What else can we do here? Damage garrisons probably would be good because we are very tiny, but I want more uh, stuff here too. Oh, you know what? Every cap for the army. Since we have it, we might as well do it. Nice, nice, nice. Go in, out, and around. Yes, please. If you want to help out, you might as well just go ahead and help out. Uh, do that if you can. Okay, they wanted to start attacking first, but whatever. Oh, and we're going to go with the People's Militia. Just so we can start working that political power. Because I like PP. Bruno. Ah, dang it. Travel Scout Kits. Here, grab this. We can use this immediately for a little more reliability. You know, I want you guys to hold. Don't even worry about moving. They can't, you know. They could probably encircle us. And these guys have... Oh, they actually have recon and some special forces in their division. Infantry division, that's weird. But I have played as them before, so that makes sense. Still recovering, recover, recover, recover. Oh, how can they not take Strasbourg? That is weird. That is very strange. Oh, come on, they have literally no organization left. Oh, we can't pierce them because of the armor. That makes sense why it took so long to take these guys out. Oh, they're almost gone, come on. Nice, and now you're up here. Um, these guys are going to take a while to take out, so I'm just probably going to go ahead and we'll go to the next section of warfare. The Reformed Raiders. So right now we're at war with Metis Congress because they went to war with us because I think they wanted to take over Moose Jaw. But uh, we said no. Nah. Not today. 
Um, the brothers and sisters of a congregation must never forget a troubled past, the past where we denied peace to the people of the world, and the past that blocks us from a place amongst the Lord in heaven. We've been given a chance to rectify one of our numerous sins, the sin of ignoring the Metis' calls during the war for freedom. For when they called to our congregation for our help, we were blind to the truth of the wasteland when we saw death as the way to the Lord, so we turned a blind eye to their oppression, but now they ask that we join them in ending oppression for the north. So I leave this decision up to the people occupying the building of the Lord today. The Lord has shown the path of redemption. We become a puppet of these guys. Do they have unique focus tree? Because we've been at war with them for a while, and I'll show you uh, the casualties in just a moment. Governing flesh, mandating steel. Oh, they do have unique focus tree. That's kind of cool. Um, there's casualties. We've lost quite a bit, and they're actually at war with the Mad Trains too now. So we've actually lost almost an equal number. Um, I don't want to become a puppet. So they turn the cheek once more. So we've just been fine here, trying to stave them off. And we actually have enough okay divisions to do so at this point now. Uh, with 20 combat with, with demo teams, overall not bad. We will have enough to hopefully... Oh, we're getting close to being able to cover the entire land because they are at war with the Mad Trains as well. But we'll make sure we do well in the end. So I think we'll end it there just because this is going to take quite a while off screen. Uh, but if you enjoyed the video though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new of course. Check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow as we'll see what we can do. Or maybe finish off the Metis Congress. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest of your day.